Once you do that, once you bring forward um, that you feel empowered enough to bring your best self forward and bless whatever it is that you're choosing to take inside your body, then now the, you know, the level of awareness is, well, is this the best for me? Is this the best medication? Is this um, the best route that I can take? And there are other choices. You know, Dara talked about the distinction between um, a medication such as, let's say, Synthroid, um, which is levothyroxine, um, you know, and it has, the content that it has um, is a little bit different. Not only it's synthetic, but it's also, uh, it's not a combination of various different hormones. So understanding, you know, getting a picture, going on Google, I love technology, going on Google and just doing thyroid just google thyroid and press image and then or whatever search engine i'm not attached to google but whatever search engine you know or go get a textbook of anatomy in your public library where's my thyroid you know where's my pancreas where's my liver you know where where is it and then every day spending one minute two minutes 30 seconds, five minutes, half an hour, an hour, whatever length of time that you feel comfortable and just sitting there and just blessing your thyroid. What does that mean? Just, you know, putting your hands right over it. God, I love you so much. You're so important to me. Thank you so much for functioning so well for me. I want to take care of you. I want to nurture you. I want to give the best food to you. And then, that will bring forward your best self to start looking. Well, my thyroid, what does it need? Does it need iodine? Does it need cruciferous vegetables? Um, the cruciferous vegetables such as broccoli, kale, uh, seaweed, things like this. Well, how can, should I steam it? Should I not steam it? Should I have it raw? Um, you know, these are the nitty gritty. The details will come to you. Because once you start being loving, once you start being loving to yourself, you see, that will allow you to be curious, will allow you to be intuitive, you know, would allow you to kind of think out of the box. Then you start making the right choice. Then having burger every day and with your Diet Coke or Coke or this or that, it's not the right thing. And you intuitively know that because you want to you wanna really take care of yourself. Nutrition is important. Nutrition is important. Self-talk is important. And then you can start looking at an you know, integrative practitioner who can, be, you know, who can create a support system to some extent for you. And uh, you know, uh, Dara requested, and I'll, I mean, she's so precious and important to me, and I'll be willing to do that. Um, you know, what you could do is you could send an email to info at beehiveofhealing.com info info at beehiveofhealing.com beehive of healing is spelled with one e so it's b e h i v e o f healing.com you send it and you just request you know i live in hawaii and do you have uh, a particular physician uh, who practices similar to what you do which is what do you call what you do? What is we never introduce what you are. Uh, sure, it's it's referred to more of an integrative medicine. Okay. It's more like there these are practitioners who are either internists or family practitioner or or specialists who who you know think out of the box, who've studied nutrition and who've studied various different modalities and they bring it together. Uh, my background, I've studied osteopathy, Ayurvedic medicine. I've studied, when I was in India, I studied to, uh, a little bit of Ayurvedic medicine and Tibetan medicine and anthroposophy. And, uh, you know, I'm a family practitioner. And I've, you know, I've brought it all together and I've created something that's referred to as IBM or Integrative Bioregulatory Medicine. And, uh, you know, and I'm the founder. But I'm in the process of writing a book, uh, depending on the editorial, the rigors of the editorial process, my book will be coming out within the next three to six months. And, uh, and, it's, you know, and it's toward patients, it's not for practitioners. Um, so that hopefully will add a little bit in terms of your awareness um, so that you could feel empowered, you know, taking your power back 
and you're not a number. You're not a particular disease model. And we can change that. And I see it every single day. And the most important part is to bring and to invoke your most centered, loving self into, into the game. And then to play from that perspective. So we'll put a link. Uh, I'll put a link underneath this video so where you can contact or contact Dr. Sadegi in his office. And, and uh, that's amazing of you to do that. Thank oh, you. My pleasure. Really. My pleasure. You've been so generous with, of yourself, with your journey and wanting to help so many, you know, so many men, so many women, okay, that they don't, they don't know. They no. really don't know. And this is this gonna is touch start. many lives. Yeah, and this is a really good yeah. start. Thank you yeah. so much. My pleasure. All yeah, right, everybody, pleasure. I think that's it for now. And um, we'll see you soon. Yeah. Okay. Thank that's you. It? Yeah. Okay.